So today we're actually working on drilling the holes in the sheet, uh, getting it fit for the final time, and uh, working on putting it in. So here we go. With what we've done so far, we've actually removed the inside firebox side sheets. We found that the lower portions were thin and there was some cracking issues. And uh, basically, Stay Bolts fills up all these holes here and that's what holds the two flat plates together with water and pressure in between. And they're threaded into the sheet and then they're driven over to create a head. So on the inside, there wasn't hardly anything left. We, we just determined that the best course of action was to go ahead, since we had to renew the bolts anyway, to go ahead and renew the sheets so that we don't have to worry about them for a long, long, long time. We've cut the old sheets out and we used them basically as a pattern to trim new sheets. And actually we have transferred some holes, transfer punched some holes. So that we'll drill those and then we'll put them in, put the sheets back in, fit them, finish fitting them. And we got to get a well prep so that we've got a good gap and consistent fit all the way around so that when we do the weld, that it will turn out as it's supposed to. All these rivets here had to be removed, and all the rivets will be redriven, all brand new metal. And before we did that, so this sheet wouldn't sag, we actually had to weld the sheet to what they call the mud ring. We also had a little bit of repair to do to the mud ring, which the mud ring basically is the foundation of the firebox. It's a solid cast ring that goes all around the firebox area. And it's what we call the outside wrapper sheet, backhead, and the front, the throat sheet, as well as all the inside sheets are riveted to and secured to. We've actually cut out some areas of the wrapper sheet up towards the top, what we call the wrapper roof, uh, that were pretty bad deteriorated, and that was mostly due because of the corrosion uh, from sitting in the park for 60 years. So we've got those, that material, the sheets cut out. Uh, we will actually have new sheets rolled to the contour and then we will fit them, weld prep them, and weld them in. Same thing with the backhead, uh, welding in a couple flesh patches on the backhead as well. And the reason for that, again, was because of corrosion. And mostly that was where brackets were, and brackets were good about holding water and moisture and that could not drain. So all that wet particles in between and then behind the brackets would just eat out the steel. So that was one of the reasons that we had to do those replacements. One hole down, 400 to go.